Hello my friends, uh, we are here to take a look at a newly introduced optimization algorithm by Sayed Alimir Jalili by the name Mass Flame Optimization Algorithm known as MFO, a novel nature inspired heuristic paradigm. So here in the paper which is uh, going to explain about a mass flame optimization algorithm you can download it by yourself it's going to explain first of all an introduction and a literature review of what uh, the other algorithms are going to do and what MFO is going to do so how it's I inspired it's inspired by the movement of mothers regarding to their angular uh, movement to the moon so how it's going to work. As you know, in recent years, a new population based algorithm known as Mass Flame Optimization Algorithm has been developed by Major Lee. So, um, the source of inspiration for the mentioned algorithm is the lateral movement of the masses around the bright object, such as candle, as you can see in the picture, figure 2, or, uh, or moon as you can see in in figure 1 uh, which is a, which is found in natural in nature sorry so mosses are categorized as insects naturally investigating the movement behavior of mosses it's found out that there is a special movement mechanism by the name transverse orientation for these creatures that they benefit at night it's so amazing they keep a fixed angle with respect to moon so that they can fly at night. In order to move in a straight line, this method is very helpful, considering that light source is far away. If the mothers be closer to the light source, again they try to keep a constant angle reg uh, regarding this light source and as the distance between them is not far enough it results in a spiral movement of masses around the candle and finally after a few rounds they will converge toward the candle as you can see in the picture so what are the main concepts of mass MFO algorithm are explained in the paper you can go through the paper how their movements are going to be stored uh, in a matrix and the award they are going to gain so uh, uh, store the flames and their corresponding fitness function here is going to be in an F matrix so what is going to be done next is to uh, to use uh, a function here uh, uh, a logarithmic spiral for the MFO algorithm as is going to be uh, like this. So this is the same as the movement of a mothers around the candle. And later on, as you can see, how the movement is going to be done, and finally get to the final result. So uh, this is the whole concept of uh, what is going to be done through this algorithm, and a literature review, uh, f different function, different benchmark functions to test the uh, application of this algorithm has been done in this paper and it's fully applicable and uh, is going to be uh, tested on a, a real problem of constraints optimization. So this is a complete paper which you can address it and see if it helps you to find them. So the next step we are going through the code I want to show you the complete code of this so uh, <coughs> as you can see here the code uh, you can download it from the website by the same man by the name alimirjalili.com so this is the home page you can go to the project page there are lots of this is the home page and going through the project page you can see a list of new projects new codes which has been implemented and a new optimization course which is 
of newly provided by the site mutually itself uh, and lots of newly implemented as you can see Mosfrin is one of the newest so sine cosine vial optimization or go to grass optimization salt swarm or hybrid WOASA optimization and so on so you can go through this website it may help you to uh, uh, they provide the paper and the codes itself uh, and, and they are very helpful for you if you are going to start with codes so here I want to mention the first page we are going to view the first M file is main which has been explained here the details and after that here the details of M file uh, is going to be explained here so first of all in this part you are going to uh, provide the uh, the number of agents uh, the same as any national inspired algorithm is going to be the number of swarms and the number of iterations next to that is going to be provided and here you are going to, uh, to going to uh, going to select the name of the test function uh, which has been provided from F1 to F3 table 1 to free in the paper which has been commented here so if you can if you want to see what are the results regarding different uh, test functions you can do it um, regarding your problem you can change the number of search agents for example I just wanted to shorten it to see uh, the results and after that uh, you can after here it's going to get uh, it goes to get function detail so if you provide the function name here which we have selected for example f1 which is simple algebraic uh, to the uh, variables to the power of 2 is going to get function details here f1 so the lower bound upper bound and dim dimension of the problem is going to be uh, provided if all the va all the our variables our 10 variables uh, are the same we can just uh, implement lower bound and upper bound by a sim single number if they are equal but here it has been provided if lower bound may be various for different uh, dimension or different variables of our problem so we can use this uh, method of providing the first lower bound the second lower bound please note that you must have used you must use these brackets and it's necessary here so you can change this uh, regarding to your problem here are different parts provided for different test functions and the first test function is uh, a simple uh, exponential uh, uh, the variables to the power of some of the variables to the power of two so we uh, it's surely the uh, the best result would be uh, zero for the uh, this variable so what is going to be here you can see different test functions which by, which are divided by the name uh, you can check the paper you to see what is f1 what is the mathematical equation and what is the um, the uh, MATLAB equation has been written for it it would help you to implement your own functions too so after that it's going to uh, first part is going to be initialized randomly the variables and after that it's going to to the MFO M file itself so you can see that going to through MFO itself the number of iteration is going to be uh, increased to, to the uh, iteration we have selected for example a hundred or any other number it's going to done. It's going to uh, sort the masses, the uh, form, the uh, matrices we have provided in the paper. We have showed in the paper. And after that, it's going through equation three, equation uh, sorry, equation thirteen, equation twelve, or uh, or other equations uh, to uh, to uh, address the mass flame optimization algorithm completely. Here uh, is a if you are going to run your algorithm uh, if you are going to show what is the result each 50 so there has been written something 
a conditional state which says that the mode of iteration of 50 is going to be zero so which means that if iteration is a multiple is a um, multiplied number of 50 uh, so uh, this part is going to be executed so if iteration is 50 or is 100 or 150 so this uh, line is going to be executed but if you want to uh, see what are the result at each duration just you can uncomment this part easily uh, to uncomment it and this part to, to uncomment it and each iteration you will have a result like this which says that that iteration number of iteration the best fitness is and it, it shows the num the best fitness results you have obtained so on and finally we have function plot which is going to plot the uh, convergence curve of the algorithm for each function and regarding different functions it's going to act differently as you can see here it has been provided for different functions to show how it works and how the algorithm is going to work so let's run let's uh, test the algorithm uh, for the system and see what else is going to be done uh, we, we have uh, uh, we have decreased the number so let's see how the algorithm is going to act after 1000 iterations as you can see radiously sorry let me delete this um, as you can see gradually the system is going to reach to the best answer and this is how the uh, muscles acts gradually go through the um, the candle and the, the movements of muscles if you remember um, let me show you <coughs> that gradually after each iteration they are going to be closer to the result so th th this is how they move and this is the main picture of how they are going through after each iteration gradually they are going to be closer to the center of the lightning so if it's a moon the their uh, their direction is going to be um, straight ahead but if because the distance is so high but if it is a candle which the distance is not so high their movement is going to be an spiral movement so you can see here um, that's all about explaining MFO algorithm so if you had any further question just feel free to ask best of luck goodbye